Hey, we're back playing Rogue Tower with a big smile on my face. Current record 44. You know what? I mean, like, thanks for being here to watch some Rogue Tower. Let's start a prediction. Will NL win this run? Yes, no. The submission period, I'm just going to be honest, man. 15 minutes. Why not? Why not? Might as well. It's theoretically possible we could lose before 15 minutes, but also the average run is like, you know, about 70 minutes long. Seems apropos. I would be surprised if we lost in the early game, although stranger things have happened, okay? Hi, NL. I'm hungover from a work party. Please speak softly today. But it's... It's a Thursday. You had a work party on Wednesday? Spot, was it a, an unofficial work party or was it a sanctioned work party? Because that feels like... It just... You got Look, I'm not trying to knock your management team, okay? It just seems kind of crazy that your management team would, or, or like corporate would sign off on like an open bar Wednesday work party. Seems a little surprising. It was our rescheduled Christmas party. What kind of psycho puts a Christmas party on a Wednesday night in March? That's a ripoff. They might as well. Be. I don't really care that it's in March. It's an excuse to party. But, you know, at least let them have it on like a Friday night or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, I'm trying to. Th you know what? Give me some flamethrowers. Okay, I'm, I can get down with the flamethrowers. We got no houses here, but that's fine. Give me a flamethrower right on here. I'll take it. And then upgrade them as much as possible. Let me tell you, I don't love any of these, which means we take university and look for those early crits. That's my opinion. Ooh, I don't mind this too much. That's not so bad. Um, I think for now, I do want the university bonus. I want a lot here. But for now, I'm going to take Siphon Mana from Crystals so that we can get our flamethrowers going strongly. This way we could get even one more flamethrower uh, out there early if we have to, and I'll be very excited by that. My office has free wine and beer on tap. Be honest, you don't have to give any more dramatic details than this, okay? <clears throat> I mean, identifying details. Do you live in um, a bar? <laughs> do, do, I mean, do you work at a bar? Do you work at a restaurant? Or are you um, a web developer in San Francisco? I don't like any of these either, though. This is a problem for me. Um, I'll make my ballista slightly better, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because I, I tend not to rely on them. But you know what? For now, I'm, I'm feeling okay. I live in Boston. Do you work at a tech company? I'm just being honest. Because I feel like anytime I've been to like a tech company's office, they've been like... We're and I don't mean this in like a negative way necessarily. But they do like... Uh, you know, we're not like other offices. We On Fridays, we have craft beers at lunch. And I'm like, that's... When I was younger, I was like, that's really cool. Now that I'm a little older, I'm kind of just like, I don't, it, it, I know how this sounds, but I'm like, don't do that. Just be an office and treat people nicely and then pay them more money so they can buy beer at home. It's just my, that's just my take, okay? I'm sure when you're there, you're like, it's nice on Friday, I can have a couple craft beers at lunch, but I also, I don't want, I don't want to get drunk at work with my coworkers. Every Friday, that's it. Seems like it's rife for uh, like bad situations. Here, we're not an office; we're a family. Look, I don't. I haven't worked in a corporate environment like long enough for me to pretend like that. That sends a shiver down my spine. <clears throat> but <laughs> what about Lacroix? Yes, free sparkling water cans, free soylent in the company refrigerator. I'm all about that. Again, I, uh, I've never been in a situation like that as an employee. 
Although, when I worked at that school in South Korea, I, uh, we got free instant coffee, so there was that. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm, we're going all in here on this, these universities right now. I know it seems a little dangerous because they don't help us out immediately. Um, but I'm a, I'm a believer that like long term this will pay off. This is like a levered action. Early things are going to be hard for us and then later they're supposed to pop. What was that new LaCroix you tried? Okay, so my LaCroix saga, when we were talking about <clears throat> sparkling water, someone in chat said beach plum is, a, is bussin'. And I thought that they were joking. Let's take 50% burn. I thought it was um, not a real name of a product. And then imagine my surprise when I go to the Whole Foods and there is a flavor called Beach Plum. And it's just, uh, the, the photo on the box is a beach and then a plum. What flavor is beach? I think it's just, I think LaCroix, if you'll forgive me for using the term in a corporate setting, I think it's a, I think LaCroix is a company that virtue signals a little bit. I say that because they say, like on their cans, they have something that's, you know, like zero calories plus zero chemicals equals innocence or something like that and also uh on their can uh, on the box on the side of it i don't know if this exists in america i'm gonna guess not but they have a uh, a maple leaf and i was like is this bottled or canned in canada nah man shit is like bottled in wisconsin and then imported to canada via california but i think that for canada they just print a maple leaf on the box so that people would be like, in Canadian stores, they would be like, oh, that must be a Canadian flavor. They wouldn't put a maple leaf on it unless it was really Canadian. Can they do that? I think that they're operating on the idea that it's not illegal, but that people assume that it would be illegal. Anyway, we're definitely taking crit chance. But, um... So I think that it's not really beach flavored. I don't think it has even a, the essence of coconut. Um, but it, they want you to feel like, ooh, this is like I'm on a beach, you know? Like this is so luxurious. I'm so relaxed drinking this. By the way, it tastes damn delicious. Oh, beach plum is actually just the name of a fruit? All right, never mind then. It turns out I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I'm, I've had a few of the trendy uh, Instagram fruits, okay? Let me tell you, Golden Kiwi would highly recommend. Not not even like with a caveat. The Golden Kiwi, I think, is maybe even superior to a to a normal kiwi. Um, the flat peaches, they're okay. You know, you could try it now and then. I wouldn't necessarily suggest that it's like, uh, you know, that different than a regular peach, but it's okay, you know, for a bit of variety. Kate, what were those grapes called? Those, those Korean grapes we bought? I feel like I should remember this. They weren't called candy floss. Or, no, they weren't the cotton candy ones. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi, honey. <clears throat> How are you doing? They, they were not called Shabriri grapes. I don't know. I don't remember what they were called. Green. Musket. 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 Yeah. So, like, we were at the TNT supermarket, and they had musket grapes. M-U-S-C-A-T. Maybe muscat. I don't know how it was pronounced. Um, and one bunch of grapes was, like, $19.99. So I thought to myself, 20 bucks is extremely expensive for grapes, don't get me wrong. But if they're priced at that level, let's see what all the fuss is about. That shit just tastes like a damn grape. Would not recommend spending the amount of money they're asking for musket. They're like maybe, maybe slightly sweeter than a regular grape. 
That's it, though. If you, I, in a blind taste test, I'm not convinced that you would be able to tell the difference. But, okay, I'm taking poison sprayers now. And I think we got kind of like a pretty sick thing going on here. Mostly I'm taking this because chat was like, a lot of people were like, please take this. This is the way that you win. So I will try. Houses, let's go. I did, I get roasted for this, but it, it's intellectually dishonest to roast me for this, okay? Did I pay $75 for a bottle of water called Bling Water once? Yes. But... You have to have the context for that story, which is that I only did it, it was a subscriber goal for like Kate's Subathon. I did not do it thinking like, oh, this water is going to go hard. I got it in my head being like, this water is definitely going to be like just water. I will make my poison sprayers do more damage to something. Did it go hard? No, if anything, it actually probably tasted like a little worse than normal bottled water. But that might have just been because it cost me $75. So I had um I had higher expectations, I guess, going in. It was it was literally just bottled water in a uh, like a a simul like not even gold plated, just like a bottle that was gold colored. I read an interview um, afterwards because I was like, what the, like, what is this business idea? And it was literally just like, is a business idea you would hear on like, I think you should leave. It's like there's luxury champagne, there's luxury real estate, there's luxury clothing. Why shouldn't there be luxury water? And you're like, I don't know if that's like how that works. We, we go deep in these towers. We keep expanding our long path. I think with all the AoE we got, I'm actually kind of pleased uh, at all these like branching paths that we got here. Maybe I'm crazy, but that's, that's how I feel about it right now. After all, why shouldn't I have it? Basically, the, the review, or not the review, but the interview with the, the creator of Bling Water, it, it reeked to me of... Well, people will pay like a thousand bucks for something that has $25 worth of cotton in it. Why shouldn't they pay 75 bucks for something that has, you know, 60 cents worth of water and plastic? I do be fair, I do think it came in a glass bottle now that I think of it. Also, who you like this was in probably 2015, maybe 2016. We're going to need mana banks at some point. But even then, like, bling was an outdated term. Like, nobody was... Nobody was saying, like, oh, you, look how much bling they have. It was only, like, you know, your, your middle-aged parents and grandparents who, like, in the mid-2000s, when people were saying bling, they didn't say bling. They're only getting into it in, like, the mid-2010s. They're like, wow, bling water for shizzle. And you're like, Dad, we say we say this water is sussy now, okay? Plus, uh, bling water is canceled because it probably comes from a Bolivian aquifer, okay? What are those goods called? Is it luxury? I'm trying to figure out. Is it confused? Am I backwards or forwards on this one? Um, is it called an auspicious good if people... Are, if demand increases, is the price increases? Or is it called a, a suspicious good if demand decreases as price decreases? Like when you're at the grocery store and you see like a steak and it's $4.50, you're like, whoa, that's a great deal. If you saw a steak and it was $2, you would be like, I'm not touching that shit at all. Even if it's the same steak, it just sends a signal to your brain that you're, like, in danger. I think... I mean, dude, forget banditry, okay? I, all, I never spend my gold anyway. Why don't we just raise the towers we already got, make them even better? It's not... Holy cow, what is gonna happen here? It's not, um... 
Oogie Wave yet. Hit me with one of these. Okay, well, we'll still focus on our economy for a moment at least. And then we, we got to figure out where to place these DOT. For, we got we to gotta lengthen the short paths. I'm hoping we can portal here. Maybe like portal here and then just simplify the map a little bit. It's not bad, man. We'll never play this game again, huh? Look, there's only two ways that this can go. The only way I'm never going to play this game again is if I actually beat it, okay? If I don't beat it, I'm going to complain when I lose. And then not play it for a week. Say I'm never going to play it. And then, <laughs> you know, immediately come back to it as soon as I need a variety injection. Take your time, by the way. Um, okay, so everything's... We could use maybe like... Here was my thinking, okay? And this is just theory crafting when I was in the shower this morning. But like... I feel like one of the things we could do... And I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the radar tower. But I feel like you could put a radar... So that it covers a lot of the map, but definitely like the path towards the end. And then set your radar tower on progress. Except for boss waves, in which case you would put it on most health, most armor, most shields, probably maybe just most health. But then the idea is that like radar would be a great amount of coverage in order to kill the fast enemies that make it by your choke points. But then also on bosses, they have some utility as long as... You know, you probably don't even need to micro them, to be honest. But, okay. So just, just give me a second here, okay? I was just thinking. Now, your lone poison, I would love a flamethrower to be here. Can it hit the whole... It can hit the whole thing. Okay, we take those. Um, knowing that we're going to spawn a boss, I would love to reinforce another choke point. And I would feel okay about it, I think. Before we do this, let's let's purchase three more siphons as a little just in case. And then I mean Am I correct in the assumption that there's like okay I don't know how to phrase this, okay? Hear me out, okay? Because <laughs> just listen to me. Is there an equivalent amount of enemies that come out of each section? Like, is this like an X, 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 X? Okay. So, right here, at this choke point, we have a 2X. Right here, we have a basically a 3X. And right here, we just have X, and it's going to take a while to get here. So, if anything, we would probably prefer our choke point to be here... For now, because we know that this is going to expand. But then every... T and, and probably branch at some point. But then every time we expand here and get a branch, it's still going to be an equivalent amount of enemies everywhere, but the value of X is going to shrink. Peepo, Peepo G? I mean, it's going to raise because every enemy or every wave there's going to be more enemies. But proportionally, X will be a smaller percentage of the total amount of enemies. Okay. Anyway, we got a boss coming out. The boss is going to come out here. I still think that perhaps this choke point on the, on the plus three feels pretty good to me. Give me a flamethrower on the three. Give me a poison on the two. And let's hope our mana holds. And then push out these short paths a little bit. There's Ugi. Okay. And this is a big deal. Our mana is holding. For now. I might, just in the interest of not dying, let's make sure we... Because if we run out of mana, we literally have, like, nothing else. We just have Ballistas. Now, Ugi, you gotta pick up some damage here, okay?
I have hurt you slightly. I'm a little scared. <laughs> this, I, I believe in this strategy. I'm just a little scared at present. You know what? We can put one of those down just for a minute. We know we're going to want one there eventually. Let's do it now. Okay, now it's the damage, the DOTs. They should never stop. Little bit of double dipping. You know what? I think we're gonna be fine. See a lot of people saying Monk S. See a lot of people saying he's gonna be fine. I'd prefer to be a little bit past that, like, second O. Yeah, yeah, level up. Ballistas! I'm, st I'm not saying anything until I see him actually, like, be dead. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ballistas! Ballistas! Why wouldn't I upgrade health damage, you fool? Easy. <laughs> Whew, perfectly timed as all things should be. Okay. I'm being real with you. Radar is what I want. I want overall mana independent coverage. These are horrible options for me. Give, you might as well give me banditry for now. I'm going to make these better, although I ugh, I don't know. Dude, if we ever get those... Those universities are a little ways away, and we almost just died. Let's be smart, okay? Take upgrades on things that you need. And then... Um, exp Let's expand these short paths a little bit. Radar costs a 1,000. Okay, that's... I would like to place it, maybe on this plus three right here when we get a chance. And then most health. What's your what's your range? Good enough. I'm I'm pleased with that. Now I'm not I'm not a big radar fan, but just because his damage stats are low, like the coverage it gets, that appeals to me. <clears throat> I do, it, eventually I want it to be on like progress and least health probably, but I also like, for now, I don't think I really have much that does health damage, which is like the scary part for me. Let's now make enemies get slower so they spend more time in the DOT. God is my witness, I think I will throw down a second radar. We just need more things that do most health damage, I think. Radar is also very powerful, prepared, uh, combined with DOTs. We, I love that for us, thank you. Okay, these guys are way tankier than I expected. You're gonna die, I'm not worried about that. Look at this, melted. Okay, a second radar. I would really rather have you on a plus three, but I also want to make sure you are covering the end. I don't know if this was, you know, it's not my favorite, but we're going to keep expanding here anyway. Put me on most health, okay? Now we got two planes in the sky. I am going to... Now that it's been a little bit more comfortable, I'm going to commit to uh, keeping these universities pumping for when they eventually pop out, hopefully. Um, we're trying a different tack than usual. I, I do hate to not take a shredder. Don't get me wrong. I am a shredder believer, but you know what? Like every, every time we've ever gone all in on shredders, I've... 
I feel like it's led to despair. That's not necessarily a not, it might be, you know, error between keyboard and chair, don't get me wrong. But let's try something different, learn something, and maybe make some progress in the meantime. Man, it's such a cheap upgrade for our radars. 52 to go up one level. I mean, come it's, it's the It's the cheapest upgrade money can buy. Have you tried the kiss method? Is that when there's nowhere to hide, baby? Nowhere to run and you pull the trigger around my da 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 love gun? Or is that keep it simple, stupid? I always forget. I love, like... I don't like Kiss as a band necessarily. I like a couple of their songs. Don't get me wrong. Let's let's raise the DOT maximum here. But I uh, I love that I love their branding. I love that they're branded as um, knights in Satan's service, and then like their songs are like I wanna rock and roll all night. And party every... That's diabolical, man. No wonder they wouldn't let their kids listen to that shit. Knights in Satan's service? Shit is evil. It's just good branding. It, it, you know what it is? It's altered. It's Chris Angel Mind Freak. They named themselves as if they were so edgy. And then they just, you know... I mean, they breathed, like, fire on stage and, like, painted their face and stuff like that, but they, they, their lyrics did not, like, back up what the actual uh, content of the material was. Okay, let's, again, all poisoned enemies need to be destroyed. Back in the New York Groove is an S-tier song, though. Look, Back in the New York Groove is such a good song. I For 28 years, I actually thought that it was Billy Joel. Okay, mana could be a problem here. Just give me a second. They also chose a cute band name, A Little Smooch. You know what? When you put it that way, that's darn true. I probably got other siphon spots, but we're, we're in a real-time crunch here. Just give me a moment. Yeah, you got a gray siphon spot right there. Tower didn't take damage. I wasn't paying attention at all. Okay, now let's work on expanding the short path a little bit. Gene Simmons also tried to copyright the devil horns. Yeah, I mean, I don't really like like Gene Simmons as a person or as an artist. Or an actor. Or a reality TV host. Uh, oh, we definitely want crit steal poison as extra poison damage. Because our crit chances are going through the roof. Everything's got a 5% crit chance already here. Now, okay. We're expanding you so we don't get just completely crushed, hopefully. Mana's doing okay. Five percent chance is through the roof? Yeah, you know. I mean if I gave you a five percent chance to take a trillion dollars. Or to, to win a trillion dollars, you would be like, whoa, that's a really high chance. Or if I said, you know, hey, flip a coin. Wait, this doesn't make any sense. If I said, hey, roll this D100, 95% chance you get a million dollars, 5% chance you die, you would be like, no way, man, my death chance is through the roof. I don't know, some of you would probably roll to die. I, I don't know what... Honestly, I don't know what that number would have to be for me. You would roll that? I would roll that shit for 5%. Uh, 5% scares me, man. I guess you could use a D20 instead. That's a very good point. I'd do it for 5 bucks. It's a funny sentiment. I'd roll for 100%. No, you wouldn't. Come on. Okay, let's increase that burn per second. Don't say stuff like that. Look at this. Hold on. Is this a reasonable... It is a reasonable flamethrower location. 
and the decent poison spreader to boot. Now, just make sure your mana's doing great. It seems like it's doing wonderful. It looks like, you know, your your phone battery when you got it plugged into one of those, like, superchargers. Normally, super auto pets pulls you, like, you know, half a percent per minute. Here, you're, you're never getting below 99. Okay, we, we've been mindlessly playing for a bit. We gotta think about what our next strategy is here. Would you press the button from the box movie? That's, that's the one where if you press it, you get a million dollars, but someone somewhere on Earth dies? That you don't know? I would not press the button. We definitely want fire and flames, I think. Push, 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 push. <laughs> hey, the aliens are like pulling you off of the box. You can't stop me. Okay, next, with 3,000 gold. Next thing I would do, okay? Radars, give me some cheap upgrades because at some point I'm going to go quantity versus quality, right? Give me the easiest upgrades you're ever going to find. You know what? For 90, I'll hit you with a 2-3 on that one. I'll hit you with a one, two, three, one, two, three. I'll hit you with a one, two, three, one, two, three. I'll hit you with a one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'll hit you with a, mm, give me a two, three, one. Then up here, how about a one, two? How about a two, three? How about a one, three? How about a one, three? Okay, start your round. Look at that. And we're increasing our short path, but maybe we've increased it a little too much. Let's expand that. Okay. <clears throat> two, one, three. This guy's off the map. And then I want you... Oh, dude, if this could loop around, get a portal here. But I'm like, do I even like a portal? I feel like a portal, it, it lowers my mental overhead, but doesn't actually give me a better chance of winning. It just like makes my, it makes my decision making process better. Holy cow. You okay, Tomo? <laughs> Dude, don't even get me started, by the way. Okay, I don't know why this reminded me of this. Last night around 6.30 p.m. Chirp. Chirp. Somewhere in the house, a smoke detector is not going off like there's a fire. But it's like, so, help me, something's, I need attention, Here, I need attention, okay? So I go upstairs, and I'm like, you got, it, it goes off just infrequently enough that you gotta do like 12 cycles, right? So I'm like, is it in the hallway? Is it in Kate's office? Is it in the bedroom? Is it in the baby's room? Chirp! And then you like go, go get under another one. You wait for 25 seconds. Chirp. Okay, I found it. It's in the baby's room. I get on a stool. I take the smoke detector down. This shit is like low battery. Okay, here's the thing. It's wired into the damn grid. So like I get that you have low battery. Look, I would love the fail safe. It, at all times. But... I understand that your house can still burn down if the power goes out. But do you really need to beep every 30 seconds in order to... Like, that's not an urgent thing. But anyway, I'm like, I get it. It's 6.30 p.m. Thank God it's not going off in the middle of the night, okay? Unfortunately, we, we didn't have an extra 9-volt battery. So I took it out. I took the battery out, held down the reset button, put it back in. Hooked it back up to the power, screwed it back up, thought that might give us some extra time. 4 a.m., I wake up. Derp. So much worse. Because now, I can't stop it. It's in the baby's room. So I can't go in there at 4 a.m. and be like, hey, I'm just gonna, like, you know, use the torch on my phone to see this, like, you know, it's gonna wake her up. But at the same time, she was not waking up from the chirp. But I was waking up from the chirp like every few times. 
This shit was driving me crazy. Anyway, I just wish there was a button you could press. And on some smoke detectors, I'm sure there is, but trust me, I poured over the user manual. Um, there is no reason. There is a reset button that is like, don't bother me. But what it does is it sets off every alarm in the house for one second and then you press it again and it's like, okay, we'll ignore you for 24 hours. Shit was driving me crazy. Anyway, so I gotta buy a battery today. <laughs> um, increase all DOTs. Yes, please. We call, I don't know what, look, I don't call it a torch. I call it a flashlight, but my phone calls it a torch. And honestly, I feel like it should be called a torch because that shit goes hard, man. Like that phone battery, or not phone battery, but phone flashlight is like a damn lightsaber. Android user spotted? It's true. I mean, I can't deny it. I am indeed an Android user. But the caveat there is like, I don't know anything about phones like at all. You know what? Give me a radar here on this plus three and pump, pump up your damage a little bit and target most health. What's your coverage like? It doesn't hit the end, but I like that we'll have some extra damage coming out here. These, it, like, this seems covered mostly for now. My Samsung says flashlight? Hold on. Because I also have a Samsung. Yeah, that shit legit says flashlight. I've been operating under a false mindset for like a decade. Thanks for illuminating that for me. Pun unintended. Um, <laughs> whoa, the Mandela effect. Uh, so I'm definitely just going to take an extra 5% crit chance. This is going to be Robo Zombie Oogie. So just prepare oneself. Watch your mana. Yo, Zombie Oogie kind of quick, honestly. Let's get some cheap upgrades. You need a poison spreader here as well. As long as our mana holds, you need a poison spreader. Hello, honey. Hello, you got a ball. Whoa. What a great throw. Rip your mana? Okay. Honey, just one moment, please. Dada has a mana crisis. We need to utilize our brains for this one. There she goes. Oh, we're back. That's not so bad. Okay, everything's fine. The boss is dead? Holy cow. I think we definitely want quality over quantity. Although we have such good crit chance already it's hard for me to be like to take this so i feel like i'm gaining so little out of this crit chance hi honey she's going off up 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 can i have the ball oh thank you thank you <laughs> Check. Yeah, Kate was like, uh, we got to change your diaper. And then uh, she said, no. Check it out. Knockout City promotional mini dodgeball. Shall we start the bidding at $100,000? Pog ball, pog ball. <laughs> no? Okay, well, fair enough. Um, $105,000? Whoa, I was going to do it like reverse auction style where we were going to go down, but I, wait, this is a way better idea. Okay, 
Let's do it. Let's go full crit build. Now, I have 2,000 gold. I would be a fool to not spend it. At least give me some mana banks. I think we can go we can go that deep on mana banks. And then get your upgrades. Holy cow, that would have been nasty. You know what? Give me better range. Because now this mortar can see the end. That's beautiful. And I'm going to close off this gap right here. I just want to see how things look. <clears throat> Are, have these enemies always been this fast? Are you hearing the gold trigger? It actually is at like the BPM of the music. Now this is where it all goes wrong for me when it goes wrong. There are a lot of enemies. That much is undeniable. <clears throat> You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it. Look at this. You're toasted. Was I a little scared? Yeah. But now, dude, now we can get universities. This does sound like when Dan used to go on Doom Runs in Tarkov. Remember when Dan used to stream? Man, those were the days. <laughs> Whatever happened to that guy anyway? Um, okay, burning enemies burn faster based on how much slow they have. But we don't have any slows yet. But at some point we will get slow poisons. Uh, poison slows, I should say. So let's... Poison already slows. Okay, beautiful. That's great news. I did not know that. I thought I got it. Maybe... Oh, I did. 1x slow percent. It's right there. Just that handy little tooltip. Now, Portolme. Ooh! University! And also a plus 5. That seems like a great place for a radar. Though I don't want to go too deep in radar yet. You know, I'm stupid. Don't put these down yet. We can always put them down after this round. Use your existing money if necessary to expand something that could help you out there's two thoughts on massages legitimately i've only had one massage in my entire life it was when i lived in korea and it has kind of informed how i feel about massages ever since it feels good but like they're too long for me like, I, I feel like a 10-minute massage is, like, the dream. I have, like, a muscle that hurts. If I could go and get it massaged and then be like, oh, okay, that's good. But, like, when I got the massage in South Korea, like, the first 10 minutes, I was like, this is a dream come true. I see why people love this. Then for the next, like, 45 minutes, I was like, what the hell? Aren't you done yet? <laughs> like, jeez. Like, my sh I came in because my shoulder was, like, a little sore. And uh, then you're, like, now you're massaging, like, you know, my my back and the back of my neck and stuff like that. And, like, the, my arms. And I'm like, man, I don't need this. Just give me a... Just spend ten minutes right here and then let me go. How'd you feel the next day? Like, hungover because <laughs> I... I think I got the massage probably at like 11.30 p.m. on a Friday. Me and my friends were having some, some heights, and then I said my shoulder hurt. They said, you should get a massage. And I said, but it's 11.30. And they said, yeah, the massage uh, shop over there is open till like 3 a.m. or something. I'm, I'm being genuine with you. I don't know like if there was anything sussy going on at the massage parlor. I'm, all I got was a massage. And again, it was too long. There's got to be customers, right? Like, so everybody knows that a massage parlor is like, you see neon lights, you see like open late. Maybe there's something else going on there. But there's also got to be like clueless people like myself that just go in for a massage, right? That are just like, oh, you know, 
Dragon massage. I've been driving all night, sure. I just read the articles. Okay, hold on. Increases the rate at which slow effects burn speed. That, speans, uh, that seems fantastic. That speeds fantastic. Now, this is a big university round for us. This is our, our power multiplier. I should probably not have gone that hard yet, but just, oh my god, they start with default 5%. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's fine, because we're going to expand here, and then we're just going to... We'll, we'll probably level them up next time. We didn't get any levels there, but that's fine. I'll live with that. I'll live with that. We definitely, I think, want a radar there as well. I'm not worried about a misallocation of capital here. It'll, I think it'll come out in the wash. It's going to look like a rounding error. I had a friend who used to go to a sketchy massage parlor by accident. He really needed his back to be fixed, but they just kept wanting him to pull out his caca. <laughs> there is, there's like a Seinfeld bit in there, right? For sure, like... Kramer recommends a massage parlor to, to Jerry. They keep trying to give Jerry a happy ending. Jerry's actually, like, his back is actually sore. I went in there to get some relief from soreness. I came out and another part of me was sore. Kramer! Sorry, I was... I apologize. I apologize. Look. If we're gonna get scholarships, let's do it early. And then let's let's go hard on this one. And then you're gonna be at one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What have I done? Health, armor, magic. Give me more health. We still have so much money. Holy cow. Yeah, I feel like I could definitely see Jerry going. What is going on here? Mr. Seinfeld, we just want to make you as comfortable as possible. You're sick! You're sick! Sorry, I'm... I've seen a lot of Seinfeld. So, put this on most health. No, it was not George, because George would... In my opinion, my reading of the character of Mr. Costanza is that he would just do it. Why not? Why shouldn't I have it? Okay. I'm ready. Sorry, the music's popping. Just give me one of these. Let's just, oh, another university. We just got four upgrades. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Holy cow. That is a Seinfeld episode, isn't it? I honestly, you might be right. They did run for like nine seasons. There's definitely a Curb episode where um, Larry buys his father a happy ending massage and then his father falls in love with the masseuse. That one I'm familiar with. Mana? Oh, yeah! Um, okay, one sec. Just be cool, okay? Sorry, you got me thinking about Seinfeld. I mean, I can't be held responsible. Let's increase the rate at which slows affect burn speed. And then, um... Some siphons, they're so cheap. They're so cheap. Why not? Look at that. I mean, that's like... For some peace of mind. Why not? And then... NL, what if uh, Seinfeld was set in Vancouver instead? I think you could have some good episodes. 
you know, um, Kramer gets hired to be an enforcer in the donut wars between Cartems, Lees, and Luckies. I guess I won't be putting down another university yet, but give me a second, okay? Just give me a damn second. Good, not great. <laughs> Just give me some time, okay? Just start it. One discovery, okay. Seinfeld, bad chest? No, no, no. Seinfeld is actually good. The bad chest show... I mean, like, a Big Bang Theory, sure, but in terms of ones that would actually, like, offend a small amount of people... Friends is a bad chest. How I Met Your Mother is a bad chest. As much as I hate to say it, The Office is a big bad chest, okay? The, o the Office might be one of the ultimate bad chest shows. Which pains me, because I think this show is pretty good for, like, a long time. But also... You know, I mean, like, it inspired a level of enthusiasm that is a little... It, it's above and beyond the quality of the show, in my opinion. But it is it's an endlessly rewatchable show for a lot of people, for sure. Hotter takes, please. Uh, Pi is exactly three. <laughs> How about one of these? How about one of those? How about one of these? Dude, I'm go I'm all in on this build right here. I say this every time. This one's actually gonna work. Portal? Portal in another university, man! Anthony Fantano just canceled McDonald's? What the hell did McDonald's do, man? Apart from, like, you know, all the obvious shit. <laughs> the scholar build. Reminds me of Hamilton. Bat chest. The scholar sisters. They got dissed by Pusha T. Oh, yeah, because didn't Pusha T write the, um... The I'm loving it jingle. One of the most enduring uh, jingles in modern advertising. We're actually like, it's not even scary. It's not even close. Yet. 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 Flamethrowers gain 50% burn. Thank you. Now. You could use... Uh, you know what? You don't need a little more yet. Because we're going all in on these universities. It's still so early. Every single university has like 14 rounds to pay off. That shit is crazy. I'm loving the music too. We need more shield damage. Let's not overcompensate too much, but... The phrase ba da ba 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 was already conceptualized before Pusha was involved. However, he did come up with the rest. I, dude, did that come out in Discovery or something? I gotta watch that court case. <laughs> Your Honor, we patented ba da ba 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 with that exact uh, melody. You can see our filings. This is from the year 2002, pursuant to uh, the case of Roy Kroc versus the state of Delaware. We got another couple upgrades there. I'm feeling good. Ooh, I'm still feeling good. I'm still feeling good. This is all wrong. It was Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake was in the song. Like, he was in the ad. But Pusha T maintains that he came up with the melody. Or he, he was instrumental in its creation. Let's put it, because I don't know the specifics. Honestly, just give me some sorcery. I love it. I can't. We just, I think we just got seven upgrades.
Now we got to do something with our gold at some point. Let's just not let anything get uh, through here, and then we'll spend it immediately. We'll, we'll, we'll think about what to do. I definitely think DOT on the portals is nice. Radar on the plus four, plus five, whatever it is. Another university? We'll see. I mean, nothing's doing anything, man. Nothing's getting anywhere. I think Brian Cox did the McDonald's theme song. Brian Cox, Lieutenant Stryker from the X-Men movies. Let's take crits deal 10% of current burn as extra burn damage. We have 10,546 gold. Okay. 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 Let's start sensibly. We're getting tons of upgrades. I'm feeling great about that. We could use more armor and more shields. Let's pump you up to like... I'll take you to 15%, you know? You're a little late to the game. Now, anything with a portal needs some dot action. Money doesn't go as far as you think it would, man. Look at this. You know what? Just give me one of those. I know it's not really... Uh, well, you don't need it there if you got one there. Just stay, think for two seconds, man. Give me a, give me a flamethrower. Like, toss it right there. Okay, 4,000 gold remaining. You, if I place the radar, you see the whole damn map. I love that for us. You're on most health. I still, in my head, am like... I feel like having... One on progress would feel nice. A little scared about our mana, so let's up that. You guys could use an upgrade, but it, you're already fairly leveled. We're doing... We have 15% crit chance. Holy cow, man. I don't, with a thousand gold... I'm inclined to um, maintain some money for flexibility for mana banks if required, okay? I, that's, that's my two cents for this one. Let's expand you to generate a portal here, hopefully. <laughs> you know what? The radar could use some support. You're not wrong. All right. We, I think we only got like one upgrade there. That's painful. I'm not going to do a, a calculus of, you know, our odds of getting, you know... You, you could, I feel like, very easily chart out, like, a probability of us getting uh, a certain number of upgrades. Like, zero to the maximum, which would I guess would be three times the number of universities we have. But, like, I feel like one upgrade is, like, 10% chance. And then, like, two to six upgrades is, like, 75% chance. Anyway, this has not been much of a struggle. Um, so this is a nice mana synergy. It's always not, Enemies are always burning. You gotta go damage, man. You gotta go damage. And then we got 5,000 gold. We're not gonna... If we run out of mana... We have enough to put down some mana banks. We're probably going to get another like 1,500 gold here. Now, Ugi is spawning. I would like him to spawn over here still. And our radar should melt him pretty nicely. So I'm thinking... We want to expand this. That's probably still the longest path, I, I would have to imagine. Okay. Then I'm going to upgrade some universities, man. I'm just too lazy to see if there's any that are more underleveled than this. I'm just, I'm going for it, okay? Hey, Rummy22, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. 
When, when the gift subs start to pour in, you know you're on the right track. That's how you know people are like, he's actually got a shot this time. Copium, copium. Hold on, I spent exactly the right amount of gold. Expand here. And then Robo Oogie, who is actually... Oh no, he's a funny looking robot, but that's okay. Now we got another radar spot, should we desire. Do we desire? I don't know. Look at my radars real quick. Uh, eight gold for one level. That's a pretty good uh, investment in my world. Man is doing fine. Robo Oogie is already dead. There are a lot of enemies here. <laughs> but they're getting they're getting roasted and pretty I was just gonna say the radars are gonna start to be able to target other stuff is great is great okay and we got 7,000 gold we only picked up two more upgrades that time come on dude come on okay poisoned enemies take extra damage from all attacks level 35 Burning enemies take extra armor from all attacks. It's great stuff. Now we got 7,000 gold. As of the, the current moment, plus six. Holy crap. I don't want to invest in our universities. I would rather wait for another university to show up, even though there's obviously a, a problem with that, which is that it has less time to work. But it's pretty expensive to upgrade our existing universities. Let's just hope we get one. Right there. Now, why don't you give me like a 1-2? Why don't you give me a 1-2? You're doing okay. You guys are always... I, I feel like... <laughs> like the ballistas might be uh, useful. You can tell I want this one, man. Like I'm... I never take this level of, of care in my tower upgrades. I just send it. To 2,900 gold. I don't think we're going to have mana problems, man. I feel like we could probably set up another choke point here. Let me get a little poison. Let me, let me get a... Oh, I can't even put a flamethrower down yet. Um, I want to expand this path so you can get hurt for longer. And then give me another flamethrower on our plus two as well. Okay. And then you definitely need upgrades. I'll take that. Man is still doing... Everything's in balance. You put down a poison in Nowhere Lands. Thank you. 1,100 gold back in my pocket. Thank you. Thank you. We got some upgrades at least. Doubt is not looking good. Look, it's one of those things where rules are made to be broken, right? Because the number one rule of Rogue Tower is as soon as I start saying I'm confident, like, it, we're over, right? Like, that's where I start to... I mean, I don't think... I don't even know if there's a causal relationship, but it's just after that, things fall apart. But, eventually, that's not gonna hold. Hopefully. Poison enemies take an extra shield damage from all attacks. Hope the baby's doing better today. Thank you for your kind words, Re the baby. Um, she's like, she's coughing a little bit. She's not really that sick. Like, I feel like in a normal world, she would definitely be a daycare. But because she uh, only goes to daycare like Monday through Thursday, kind of felt like I'm not going to take the baby to daycare for one day and then give it like, like 10 days off, one day on, three days off again. So we'll just send her back on Monday. But I, I feel like there might be a mutiny because a lot of kids have been missing from the, not missing, but not had the daycare recently. And yet the kid who was patient zero for this particular brand of rhinovirus is laughing it up in all the photos we get sent, laughing it up.
I feel like the next, uh, there might be some words exchanged the next time all the parents are there at the exact same time for, for daycare pickup. Eight upgrades that time? Holy bursh. <laughs> oh, man. Now, I won't be the one exchanging the words because I'm a coward and also I know, like, I like to believe that everybody's doing their best and, like, you know, just trying to make it through, but, like... Someone might exchange some words, okay? And I might be like, yeah! Or maybe I could use that as an opportunity to be like, hey, lay off! Everybody's doing their best. Either way, you know what Rahm Emanuel said? Never let a good crisis go to waste. One way or another, I can emphasize my social game in order to build up like a rapport with another parent. And then maybe I could get them to tell me that they have an immunity idol. And as a result of that, like tell them that I'm going to be in their final two. But then I go back to the original parent and I go, this guy has an immunity idol. If we don't get him out right now, we're done. Okay. And then blindside him and then get blindsided myself. Thank you, Justin, for the resubscription. Thank you. Thank you. Justin, I'm going to beat Rogue Tower. Things that the, the uh, believers don't want me to say. Uh, Justin, I'm going to beat Rogue Tower. He's doing it. Hold on. I'm just I'm dishing out upgrades because I didn't upgrade my universities this time because I'm finding them. They're reaching an equilib equilibrium point of cost inefficiency. Might as well invest in some damage instead. Beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. This should sound like a dial-up modem, man. I can't spend gold fast enough. Like it just keeps it just keeps going up. Build some ballistas. I mean, I guess I could build like fifty ballistas real quick. No, don't. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was I could, but I'm not gonna. Obviously. I'm, dude, there's no way I'm taking anything that's like a scalar quantity of one or two damage to armor. We get that like every round out of our university anyway. But then again, what else is useful here? Like lifesteal... I mean, I guess lifesteal means we're never going to run out of mana. So that's good. Then with 10,000 gold, we really should up our universities a little bit more. I'll, I'll give you three. One, two, 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 three. Sorry about this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You really think it's worth 5,000 gold for a 12% better chance times seven rounds? No, probably not, now that I think about it. <clears throat> but we need, you know, there is no alternative. We got to do something with our uh, with our money. Oh, dude, I mean, that's a, just a substantially more efficient upgrade for sure. Uh, I could live with that. He said the thing. He's econ-pilled. We could always give you a quick little poison sprayer there. I guess we could always give you a quick little... Quick little expand, followed by like a flamethrower right here. And then maybe a poison sprayer right here. Sure, why not? And then give them upgrades because they're so cheap. Like, we can just keep mashing the button. We're killing enemies fast enough. We don't even have to think. Look at how slow they are, too. Holy cow. Mana's still not a problem. I think he's doing it. And for once, he is me. Level 
level 12. I got no problem, man. Dude, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. Good job. Thank you, Sinvicta. Thank you. Essentially, every time you build a new poison sprayer, it pops out as level 35. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. But your ballistas are going to be insane when they come out. Wait a minute. What if... Okay, hold on. All right? All ballistas do 25% extra poison damage. And then they're so cheap, dude. They're so cheap. So I don't think you need a ton of them. But like... Why not just scatter them? Like a little... Just here and there. Just like one at every choke point. Do some extra damage. Pop them on the plus threes. Help out, you know. Nobody's going to be disappointed. Like, we spent almost no gold in order to get this... In order to get this off the ground. That's beautiful. Expand my long path. A portal. I just want to see. I mean, I don't know what I expected given how little it cost, but... Now, we definitely want poison. It doesn't have to happen right now, but I'm going to do it right now so I don't forget. We want poison here. Did I? I didn't mean to build that. I was wondering where my gold went. And maybe, honestly, give me some fire here. It's level 40. It's true. I'm just, I'm just watching. I mean, what else can I do? All you could do is watch. We do have 34 upgrades from universities. That's pretty solid. Just give me a quick one, two, three. Oh, these guys are weak. I'm not sweating it. Dude, I think we're making it just fine. Oh man, as soon it's like the the rate at which we kill enemies goes up as the enemies die because all the radars start focusing on one enemy. Oh man. <laughs> God is my witness, okay? I feel like obviously we're not taking new towers right now. I don't think we need more mana. Our mana is doing just fine. I think right now the thing that act, like this is the proportional best thing. But it's literally like we're about to get, like, a we're hitting the max level of an int 32 data type. We don't want it to go any higher. It doesn't do anything for us. So honestly, why don't you just take a small bonus for shields? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Now, I do, many people are saying this. Making this choke point a little better for us will probably help us out, okay? So sure. Take a little extra poison here. Take an extra flamethrower here. So that hopefully a group of enemies that make it through here don't cause us enough problems to kill us. And you just got portaled. I'm okay with that. You just got caught looting. And then we just got a bunch of gold. Throw down some cheeky new ballistas. Just, this is a just in case things make it by. And the gold is popping. They're trying to catch me riding dirty. I'm going to be honest, I've never ridden dirty my whole life, I think. I also don't know what that means. Is that a stolen car? Or like illegal tint on your windows? Not even once. It's when you have drugs in your car. Well, how dirty are we talking? <laughs> I've never, you know, cut out the walls of my trunk to like line it with Colombian cocaine. 
Have I possibly driven around a friend of mine while he had some flour in his pocket? And maybe I knew and maybe I didn't? Yeah, okay. If anything, he was smuggling it into my car. I was just the damn driver, man. I looked up to you. <laughs> Alright, from now on, every time I drive someone, I gotta, so before you get in my passenger seat, please empty your pockets. Hold on, let me, let me pant you down, you know how it is. I will take crits do more damage. Nothing's gonna stop us, man. Give me DOT at the at the zone of the portals. Give me one, two, three, one, two, three. Give me one, two, three, one, two, three. Give me one, two, three, one, two, three. And then send me, man. And then send me. We're getting like non-stop portals now. Go ahead, take it. We almost have 50 damage up from universities. That's pretty good. And I feel like with any surplus gold, we just throw down like insurance ballistas. They're still so cheap. Almost 50. I mean, it's 21 plus 17, that's 38. And that's 49. Is there any integer that's more almost 50 than 49 and 51? Forty nine point five? That's not an integer. Take a take a math class sometime. He said integer? I said and I looked her dead in the windows of her soul and I said I said I said int You'll learn when you're here for a time. I try to phrase things as specifically as possible to make myself immune from criticism. Okay, give me maximum burn per second. Level 42, I'm feeling fantastic. We have a flow chart now. I'm back in my flow chart groove. We give you these right here. We upgrade the ones we placed last time. I don't remember, was, was it you? Why are you so upgraded already? You're already chilling, don't let me stop you. We can upgrade these ones then. And then expand me again. Great place for another radar. Not that we necessarily need it, but... We don't possibly need anything right now. Mana's doing just fine. No sweat on the mana front. I'm just, it's hard to parse exactly what I can interpret from what's happening right here, except that things are going very well. I'm, this is not salt at all. It's just in terms of like specificity, when people say upgrade the towers at your choke point, I know there's no like GPS coordinates on the screen, but like the whole thing is choke point for me. I don't know, when you say choke point, I'm like this, I, I, I'm not able in my brain to be like, what's the choke point? Is this the choke point? Everybody has to go through here. That seems like that would be the choke point. Okay, it is. All right, fair enough. You know what? Give me a quick little one, two, three. Give me a quick little one, two, three. I do feel like new towers are more efficient just because they get spit out as like a level 50. But also, I feel like this has not been a danger yet. I will make my flamethrowers deal more damage to armor. I will. Um, at this choke point, 
big just in case vibes here. Give me two of those. Stack up some ballistas. Or some ballistas. I mean, some bastillas straight out of Knights of the Old Republic. Give me two more of these just in case, because I don't want to be caught uh, sleeping. We are at 54. Now we are at 59. That's a pretty good upgrade. Now, to be honest with you, as soon as we get the chance, I'm popping down another radar. It can still hit the whole, well, at least the end path, which I'm very happy about. Give me a radar. Man is still doing fine. Always go most health. Crank it. You accidentally dropped fire in the south graveyard. Hold on. You know what? It leveled up. I'm going to leave that as a happy little accident. <laughs> Why not? There's nothing else back here. Take some earlier damage over time. Why not? You know what? It could use a friend. You're not wrong. We're, we're on the final wave. Holy cow. I mean, not yet, but like in a, in a millisecond. So this is going to be the boss wave. Yes, or the boss path. So, I have a game plan, okay? If I sell all of my universities, I'm not going to uh, lose the bonuses, right? Take more burn. I'll be honest with you, the first thing I look at when I see this is I think we could use a little bit more mana because we, we didn't finish at, at max. So just give me like just a little, just a little extra mana. I feel like we, we hit next wave. We can't pause, I think. Next wave, sell all universities. So we get the chance for the bonus. Then spam ballistas as late as we can. You do lose it, I think. You don't lose it. Do not sell all. Leave one, you might lose it. Upgrades go away. You know what? I, I, I agree with the assessment, not worth the risk. Okay, now that you put it that way, why risk catastrophe? Just to play the, exactly the right way, if it works. Instead, what we should do is own that, use all of our surplus gold to just line the end of this level with ballistas. Big brain? Big brain. Okay. Now, don't stop till you're numb. Is it possible? Can you not hit anything? <laughs> Oogie stands 0% chance. Really? Okay, he is almost already dead. So I guess I'm only really concerned about... the waves of enemies that could reach us. Wow. He's 75% dead. Can we get a chest out of him so we can raise our chances of winning? And then the radars are going to turn on the rest, man. He's, is he dead? He's dead? He's dead. He's gone. I think we just won. A bad day for doubt. A great day for me. We finally, we can bury this game. Get out of here. Also, we have exactly 69 upgrades. It's perfect. Silverfish jump scare. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. You just resign. You lost, okay? You lost. 
Elden Ring was actually easier than this. I mean, we only played Elden Ring for like a month. We've been playing Rogue Tower for like three months. Can you just be dead? Like, you don't stand a chance. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Victory. Achievement unlocked. I don't even know what to look at in the in the postmortem. Astro slots are go. Thank you, thank you as well. What the heck? We've been live for an hour and a half. I guess I did go on some tangents. We only took four tower types. That's a secret. Flamethrowers and poison, man. Did a lot. Did a lot of damage. Oh, thank you, Omega Newt as well. Thank you. Sorry. Oh heck, he won. Return to menu. Look, while we've got 1,300 gold, I'm still going to buy the upgrades, even though I don't know if I'll ever play this again. And I'm not even going to look at them, man. Just, just take them. There's too much shit on me. Like, this is just... This is egregious. Okay, return to main menu. Pay out the believers. 29% yes. Oh, man. Don't stop till you're numb. And then slash marker. 